Hey guys, welcome back to Tried and True. Say hi to my Christmas tree. My grandmother got this dress form Christmas tree for me from the Hamacher Schlemmer catalog like maybe four years ago. It was after I started my blog because the reason she got it for me is because it's very fashion centric. Obviously it's a dress form, what designers use when they're hemming and creating designs. Um, so it's just super cute. It's always a talking point in my house. Definitely an icebreaker. Fortunately, I couldn't find anything similar online, but I will keep looking. Um, and if I do find anything, I'll definitely share it on my Snapchat or my blog. So stay tuned. But this week, let's get started. So one thing that I have really gotten a lot of use out of this season is this new Diptyque holiday candle. I got it in November and it's already almost to the end. I love it so much, like literally. Every friend who has come into my house has been like, it smells like winter in here. It literally does. It's evergreen is what it smells like, but it's fabulous. It's a great scent. It's, while it sort of has a Christmas tinge to it, I feel like you could still use it in January and February and not be like, oh, it's Christmas in here. It's just like a wintry smell, um, but it's incredible. And so I just bought today about two more at Diptyque because each year I feel like they change out. Like these were not, the scents last year. They had a completely different scent at Diptyque for all of their holiday scents. Um, and I feel like they're always limited edition during the holidays. And so I stocked up and got two more. Um, I'll probably go through them this year and just be so sad about it. But I'm hoping to get a few more to stock up just in case they don't come back next year. But seriously guys, they're the best. Great Christmas gift idea for somebody who loves Diptyque or just candles. I love candles. Did y'all see the SNL? peach candle video. It's great. If you have it, YouTube it. But I love this scent so much. I I have partnered with Diptyque in the past, but this is not sponsored at all. I'm actually obsessed with this. Next, this is so random, but I was looking in my pantry and I realized I've never talked about my Keurig or anything and I use it every day. Um, I never really was a coffee drinker until about a year ago. Like I love the taste of coffee, but I've never needed it um, to focus or wake up or anything. It's more, um, it's more like a flavor thing. Like I really enjoy the flavor of it. But in the last year, since I've been doing all of these really intense workouts and I've started doing them earlier and earlier in the morning because I need more time in the day to focus on blog stuff and work. Um, and so with that, I have started drinking coffee in the morning and this is my favorite K cup to use with my Keurig. It's the cinnamon Dolce and it's, it's no calories. Um, and I buy them in bulk on Amazon. I like the vanilla one too, but this one is definitely my favorite. It's the most natural flavor tasting to me. Um, and the breakfast blends are nice, but I have to use more Splenda and this one I don't. Um, it's just like a natural cinnamon flavor and smell and it's great. Um, but these are delicious. So check them out. Let's see what else. Okay. I, I always get questions on Snapchat about my mascara, um, because my lashes are long and there are two answers to this. So yes, I do use a really great mascara and lucky for you guys, it's really inexpensive and you can find it at CVS, Walgreens online, but it's a drugstore find. It's CoverGirl's Clump Crusher and it's in this bright neon green tube. Um, what's so great about it is, obviously it gets rid of clumps, which is great, but it's unique in that the bristles are not very long. They're really short and sharp. So you can really drag it through your lashes to separate them and I'll layer it on three or four times um, to really get them long and separated. Uh, so I really, really like it. I use black most of the time. Very black is almost too contrasting on my pale skin, um, but definitely recommend this mascara if you like to layer um, to really lengthen them and then this keeps it from getting clumps too, which is awesome. Um, and the other product I use is New Lash, which I know I've kind of talked about a hundred times. So those of you who have seen me talk about it, sorry, um, but I'll include a link to it below. It's a lash serum and I actually have a tutorial on how to apply it in another YouTube video that I will also link below if you're interested. But I've used it for over two years. I put it on every night and it has significantly increased the length and thickness, if you will, of my, of my lashes. It's, it's a miracle worker. I'm not even kidding. 
Um, definitely a great stocking stuffer idea. I actually included it in one of my gift guides for the season. So if you're interested in that, I will include a link below. But both of those are items that I use every day. Definitely tried and true favorites of mine. Um, not sponsored anything. I'm obsessed. Um, okay, next. So when I was doing Pure Bar, which I did religiously for like two years, and it really got me into fitness more recently. Um, I, I never really worked out in high school. In college, I did a bit of running, but then I used to get really bad shin splints, so I stopped doing that. Um, and dabbled, I've dabbled in various things over the years. Um, and then when I decided I wanted to like really get into it, I really loved Pure Bar and I loved it so much. I went five times a week, um, at least. Sometimes I'd go seven days a week. Um, and I loved these Lululemon tops for it. They're stretchy, so when you do things where you're bending down, it, your top doesn't come up. Um, and they're form-fitting. There's a built-in bra, so that was really great. And I love these, but for what I'm doing now, the BBG and Flywheel, um, when I transition to those workouts, these are not supportive enough. Um, I still wear them sometimes if I like I'm going on walks and if BBG isn't super rigorous like if it's just abs and arms and I'm not doing a lot of jumping I'll still wear these but I cannot wear them to flywheel it's like boobs are bouncing everywhere it's just <laughs> not, not good so um, I have really been loving and I've had this one for about two years but I didn't really think to buy more because I was using the other tops but I've recently invested in several more of these because I've used them so much. Lululemon's little knit t-shirts. They're also form-fitting, but you have to have a sports bra with them. Um, but it's good because it's it covers me up here. I don't like things bouncing around up there. And so it at least covers me and I can wear a sturdy sports bra with it. Um, it's sort of perfect for the flywheel and BBG I've been doing have it in black, I have it in gray upstairs that's in the wash that I wore this morning to flywheel. Um, but it's just a great t-shirt style. Um, and you can layer it under stuff. It's, it's comfortable, like I've slept in them before. Um, and they come in a variety of colors and it's just great. So I would check it out if you are into exercise. Let's see, another thing that I recently bought more of is this wood sage and sea salt. Jill Malone body wash. I got it in like a gift set maybe two years ago um, and have been kind of replenishing my stuff ever since. I love it, it's the best scent. And I just, it's sort of, obviously it's wood sage, so it's sort of a woodsy scent. Um, as I've said before on here, I don't really like anything uber feminine, nothing too sweet or flowery. I love roses though. So like that aside, I really don't like anything too sweet. And this is, gr this is great if you love like a spicier scent. Um, and I love it in a body wash. It's amazing. So definitely check it out if you're interested in kind of a luxury body wash that smells sort of <laughs> sexually ambiguous. <laughs> I don't know another way to say that, but I bought three of them so I don't run out again in the, in the near future. Um, unfortunately, they don't come in like a bigger size. Oops. They don't come in a bigger size, like a big body wash deal. So you have to buy several, um, but it's worth it because it smells so awesome. So check that out. And then I feel like one, two, three, four. Oh, that, that was five. So those were my tried and true favorites this week. I'm hoping to do one next week when I'm in Austin, although it will be two days before Christmas, so things may get crazy, so don't hold it against me if I'm not able to get it up. Um, but stay tuned. I have way more videos coming your way. It's a big, big goal of mine to kind of double that up in 2017 because I'm loving this space so much. So if you have video requests, questions or comments, please send them my way. I'm really looking forward to connecting with you guys more on here. I hope you have a really happy holiday season and I will see you guys next time. Bye.